This is still hot. Yummy though, but hot. I love books like this. They make me feel like a private investigator. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Woo! I don't know why. It just, it just something about being able to flip your book clothes like that is cool. What's up, everybody? My name is Danielle, and welcome back to Teamwork. Today's video is on the topic of kindness. It is our next week's theme. Before we highlight anything, I want to say the topic that I'm really trying to um, highlight is knowing how to show kindness to your enemies as well as standing up for yourself. I have a few points that I want to highlight within this message. Point number one in this message is don't repay evil with evil. Pull this out. All right, in 2 Timothy 2 verses 23 and 24, again I say don't get involved in foolish ignorant arguments that only start fights. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach, and be patient with difficult people. Some days, <laughs> it's a lot easier to be sassy and put up a fight than it is to be kind and be patient. One thing that I've heard from a pastor's family is at dinner time, they would get together and they talk about the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And they start at the very top and you had to work on that first one. And once you feel like you've mastered it, you got to move on to the next one. And they talk about it as a family. And so that's, that verse is kind of very good to highlight that idea because you have to be patient with people if you want to be kind to them as well. So, okay, in Proverbs 24, verses 17, don't rejoice when your enemies fall. Don't be happy when they stumble. You never want to wish pain upon anyone or be happy within that. That just shows so much ignorance and just, it's not good. Don't do it. Don't do it. First Peter 3, verses 9 says this, don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing. We have to be the kind of people who know who we are in Christ so that we can give them blessings in the midst of times where they're being evil to us, right? In Luke 6, 27 to 29, but to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who hurt you. If someone slaps you on the cheek, offer the other cheek also. If someone demands your coat, offer your shirt also. And then over to verse 35, it says, love your enemies, do good to them, lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great, and you will truly be acting as children of the Most High, for he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. And then do we have to thank God for all the times that he's been kind to us when we've sinned? Seeing that God, who's been perfect, can act that way to us, we should be able to have more sympathy and be able to also be kind to those who are in a situation like that. Okay, so Proverbs 25, 21, and 22 says this. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their head, and the Lord will reward you. When you are kind to someone in the face of them doing absolutely rude or evil things to you, it's going to make them stop for a moment and really kind of just reflect on what they're doing. They'll start to have this guilt on them acting evil when you're being so kind to them. Another verse that says the exact same thing. That's Romans 12. 12, 13 to 22, but verse 20 is the one that's pretty much the exact same thing. Instead, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. Keep that in mind. My second point that I wanted to highlight, practice these traits. The only way that we're going to be able to act this way is if we practice. Jeremiah 9, 24 says this, I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice and righteousness in the earth. For these things I delight, declares the Lord. So he practices steadfast love, he practices justice, and he practices righteousness in the earth. And those are things that we also need to continually practice. And here's the part that I said in the beginning, knowing how to show kindness to your enemies and be able to stand up for yourself. Isaiah 40, 29, he gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. So God will see you where you're at and he will give you strength if you need it in a situation by far means 
pray to him, ask him for that help, ask him for that boast of confidence to be able to walk up to someone and not be a pushover because that's one thing I really struggled with as a kid is I saw those verses of being kind to one another. I really just became a pushover and a people pleaser and he's not saying fulfill everyone's happiest need and make them all happy and that's not what he's saying. He's saying be kind to them. In a situation where they're being rough, point out something good about what they look like that day or admired about them. Don't repay the evil for evil. Just practicing these traits if it's the first time that you're hearing this message or if you've struggled with these things in the past, make sure you know where to draw the line. That is where kindness and strength comes into play, where you need to be strong to be kind, you need to have kindness to have strength. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I, I will see you guys in two weeks for another video. Stay tuned, every single day there is another video that goes out at 10 a.m. Well, subscribe down below because we would love to have you join our family. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Darkness, my God, that is who you are.